Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost in Dixon, Missouri. This is Italy, July 1941. Mussolini still has his tech chip. He's going to use it to try to try to finish wartime economy. Oh no, never mind. Uh, he's going to use it to try to advance improved factories. There we go. Needed a seven, got a two. Okay, he had 12 lira in the bank. He has spent eight on two colonial infantry and the other four on two militia. <sighs> Let's see. He's going to have two combats. So he doesn't run the risk of getting trapped in here again. This submarine is running out there to the Gulf of Aden, where he is going to convoy raid the uh, Indian Ocean line again. And the guy over here in the mid is going to raid the Mediterranean line. Okay, so the Italian rolls a two plus his two is four. Brits answer with a four for no damage. I think I have finally figured it out. Uh, I had some discussion with... Uh, one of my, one or two of my viewers about Abyssinia going to uh, free France whenever Paris fell because there was a, a, uh, a rule under the uh, surrender of France section that says all uh, French aligned and controlled miners aligned to free France. But now I think I have finally figured out why that should not have happened for Abyssinia because France in Abyssin France and Italy could not be at war with each other because Italy had not declared war on a, another uh, Italy hadn't declared war on anyone yet. So I, I think maybe that's the way it should have played. Obviously it hasn't. It's too late to change it now. But I, I think maybe that's the way that should have played. So that Abyssinia could only align to free France if they had won their war with the Italians down there. I, I, I'm still not sure about that. Like I said, you, you, there's, there, there's conflicting rules uh, with regard to that. I guess I'm just going to have to send a, an email to Doug at Historical Board Gaming and ask for a clarification and see what gets back. But anyway, like I said, this game's going the way it is now. It's too late to change it. So, since in this particular game, Free France and Italy are at war, the French destroyer on escort duty gets a defense shot. 
and he rolled a four and killed this Italian submarine. Okay, now this one over here in the Gulf of Aden is going to do his unopposed convoy raid. He rolled a four, plus his two makes a six. And the British get a two in return for a difference of four. But that line maxes out at three. that. And that's three pounds away from India. Okay. Mussolini still doesn't know what to do down there in the horn. I mean, he... He clearly can't attack Abyssinia. Like if he moves away from that to try to come up here and threaten eastern Egypt, uh, the, the Free French are liable to follow him. What are the French got down there now? Five, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they've got 12 defenders down there. And Mussolini's just got three, five, six, seven, eight attackers, including the fighter, attacking into a mountain zone. Well, he's got... He's got a good stack of mountain infantry there that wouldn't take the penalty... And he's got a commander there that would let him attack at a three. Hmm. That's still not too good. I mean, six guys attacking at a three, one at a two, and a fighter at a seven going against ten guys defending on a four and two defending on a five. Yeah, that's that's probably not going to work out too good. He just he doesn't want to give up the victory objective, but then again, you know, he's thrown so much effort and time into that that uh he is suffering elsewhere. So, I guess he's just going to have to make the free fringe chase him if they want to, because... He can't just stay bottled down down there. He's not accomplishing anything. So... This Italian force... Well... For right now, just that one guy is going to go over there. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. If he's going to go, he's going to have to go all in. So, his, uh, force here he's coming over to capture Nubia and threaten eastern Egypt from the south so Italy up one Great Britain down one and
that'll do it for Italy's combat now. Uh, Non-combat. Yeah, they, they don't know what the hell's going to happen here. So this is what they're going to do. They're going to strategic rail these two marines from northern Italy down here to the boot. They are going to move to two infantry from northern Italy to Rome. Leave one infantry up there. And then over here for non-combat. They're going to move their commander here up to uh, Western Egypt. They're going to move they're going to move it mm, yeah, they're going to move that tactical bomber to Western Egypt. They're going to move this infantry over to Cyrenica. All right, now place units. One colonial infantry is going to go here at Western Egypt. One colonial infantry is going to go here at Cyrenica. And then they're going to put a militia on Sicily. on Sicily. There you can see it now. And they're going to put a militia down here at the boot. And I got to replace this chip with an infantry up here in northern Italy. That's how they're going to do that. All right. The Italian has 11 on the board. So that's what he'll have next turn. Ozark Outpost. Over and out.